Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, it's a privilege being here and presenting to you. My name is Soteris Bantas. I'm uh, founder and CEO of uh, Center Analytics, who's out to build a global post-harvest quality chain. Um, I'm sure you've heard before that agriculture is like the final frontier where one of the industry sectors where technology has notoriously very low penetration. Some of the companies that we'll be presenting here tonight are aiming to change that. Uh, however, one of the implications of the, that low penetration of technology, among other things, is that we're a very wasteful planet, a very wasteful economy. We're losing value in the tune of $1 trillion after each harvest each year. And that's mostly due to outdated, outmoded storage and transportation infrastructure. So Centaur is out to reverse the st statistic and start recouping part of that waste. Our weapon of choice in doing that is our smart crop monitoring sensor, which leverages military-grade technology into agriculture to bring quality and spoilage prevention. One of the problems we had to solve to connect the supply chain and make storage and transportation for post-harvest crops smart was how to transmit data out of storage. So this sensor, um, unfortunately, didn't bring a unit with it, but uh, you can hold it in, your, in the palm of your hand. It's a portable unit, but it's a very powerful one. It can transmit from inside bulk goods, from inside, we literally throw it inside wheat, inside corn, inside many types of commodities. And it senses in real time for temperature, moisture, humidity, carbon dioxide, oxygen, volatiles, uh, fumigants, and a number of other things. It also implements, and that's a, um, a feature we are bringing very soon, an identity preservation scheme so that it can identify the type of product it is immersed in. Now, with our sensor, we can digitize virtually any storage, uh, post-harvest crop storage scenario, including silos, um, grain piles, and even uh, bags of grain, which is a popular grain uh, and commodity preservation method that we see in places in North and South America and also um, other places in the world. Um, now think of, uh, I'm, I'm going to put you in the environment where, where our technology is usually uh, installed, as you can see in this video. Uh, typically our sensors are not visible because they're immersed in product. Uh, but the key thing here is with our technology we can make an originally dumb storage facility, a metal silo, we can make it smart, and we can do this in a number of minutes. It takes literally minutes to install our sensor in a bin. Uh, sometimes when that bin is not empty, we have ways to in insert our sensor inside the product, but uh, ideally before the new harvest comes in, uh, somebody co goes in with a technician, installs the sensor in a number of minutes. Now, with that power comes great responsibility, because uh, to make sense out of the data, what we've developed is, from, from the bottoms up, we developed an IoT platform, an Internet of Things platform that collects the data, but also compiles uh, analytics and uh, guidelines of agronomic and quality control value, so that uh, you don't just look at sensor data, you actually look at dashboards that present crop quality metrics. Not alerts and notifications that give you peace of mind because risks such as the development of mold or fungi are picked up by our, by our sensors and by our analytics and are reported to you before the fact, before spoilage manifests itself. Uh, what allows us to do this is behind the scenes we're implementing algorithms uh, under the branch of computational physics known as CFD, computational fluid dynamics, along with artificial intelligence methods that are making our models adaptable and make them learn from the data of the census to give you long-term predictions for things like temperature and moisture of stored grain and stored commodity and alert you to um, situations and inc incidents such as the development of hotspots of mold in the product long before they manifest themselves. As a matter of fact, we have the capacity today leveraging the cloud and parallel computing to generate a model for weeks or even uh, three to six months ahead in a number uh, of minutes. Uh, that's how powerful those algorithms are. Now, um, what's the economic value from the use of our, our system? Looking at commodity crops that are, uh, is one of our focal areas. Uh, in the US, they're going by bushel. Bushel is an odd measurement of, uh, an odd measure of volume, uh, roughly 40 kilos in weight. 
Uh, we're uh, recouping as much as uh, 36 cents per bushel of uh, value out of optimizing the supply chain with our technology. Now, this, is, this may look like a low number, but uh, on the volume of um, like two and a half billion tons of cereals that are produced each year, it's a significant uh, savings. Uh, and uh, nowadays, people want to know where their food came from, how it was processed, how it was transported. We're, in the, uh, we're getting into an era of traceability and proof of provenance and proof of authenticity of product becomes an important factor, especially for CPG companies and retailers. So we're, with our technology, we have a unique solution for monitoring the quality in real time, for monitoring the authenticity of product in bulk storage, and for us, it becomes an afterthought to post our data to the cloud, post our data to our blockchain ledger, so that it becomes an immutable record of authenticity. <clears throat> our user base in, is growing very fast. We're already in 15 countries, believe it or not, in places like Latin America, Australia, and even Africa. And a few words about my team. Uh, to implement what we do and to uh, pr propel our vision forward, we brought together a team of experts uh, people that have built valuable companies before. Uh, my personal background is in semiconductors. Uh, I was previously founder of a semiconductor design company uh, responsible for some of the technology that you're carrying in your smartphones today. My co-founder, Vasily, is an agronomist and a food scientist for many years. Uh, Ivy Reichendahl, our executive chairman, comes from the manufacturing and also food safety background. And we're complemented by excellent, excellent partners in uh, data, uh, big data management, communications, and uh, wireless um, electronics. So that's it. Uh, this is Centaur. Uh, feel free to reach out to us at centaur.ag. I'll be happy to answer any inquiries myself personally. Thank you so much.